say it ain't warm from the Midwestern winds. Seeking refuge at the local inn. I stop to gaze at the flowers in bloom. We're following a stream, high on the plateau above the valley where we live. We're hoping to find a waterfall where this stream cascades over into the rainforest below. Up here on top of the mountain, there is a plateau, and spring fed streams find their way to the cliff's edge, where the water drops down into the valley below. We are so honoured to be up here in this country. We feel like we're in a magical landscape where time stands still. I see my reflection, I see my mistakes. Living in a place where it is warm and sunny for all of the year really makes us appreciate and celebrate every small change. The seasons shift between the rainy season and the dry. And now that the days are becoming shorter and shorter and the nights cooler, we celebrate the changing light, the birds and the clouds and the mist that fills the valley. The cold is so exciting for us and we want to feel it in every way that we can. <laughs> the sun is warm and we lay in its glow before jumping into the magical pools and streams. We want to feel the shock of the cold water on our skin. This place is hard to believe. We're exploring further, down to the edge of the waterfall, as the trees form this magical circle, framing the water cascading over the edge and the palm trees below. What an incredible feeling to stand right on the edge of the world and feel the fresh water slip past and flow down to nourish the valley below. The 
taste of the water The feeling on our skin Days grow warmer Sickness sets in The cool of the evening clouds As sunlight fades Transcend what we know and we see as the ordinary way. Back down in the valley, a storm is gathering and the Karawangs are cooling in the rain. The red cedar is shedding her leaves and it feels like each tree and every bird is filled with energy and anticipation for the storm. The birds are all calling out and dancing. The crimson rosellas fill the old yellow stringy gum tree. This is the land of the Rakwal and Minjibal people of the Bunjalung Nation. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of the country that we live on and recognize their continuing connection to the land and waters. We thank them for protecting this rainforest and its ecosystems since time immemorial. Everything feels so alive and refreshed after the rainstorm. We feel the same after our big hike and swim. And now it's time to start the evening routine of putting all the animals to bed. We love the job of putting the animals to bed. It's the best way to end our day and we always finish with a big smile on our faces. The best part of it is taking slow moments to enjoy their company. There's something really special about this time of the afternoon where everything softens and the animals are cuddly and ready for bed.
that man. In winter, the grass grows less and the sheep explore further and further to find grass and trees to munch on. Sometimes when it's time to feed them and move their paddocks, they are nowhere to be seen. And we spend ages walking up and down every hill trying to find them. You are 
right here. Hello, naughties. Come on. Lanky boy, come on. They're so full from their big adventure that they don't want to move. Come on, come on. Come on. This time of year is so fleeting, and we try to celebrate every moment of the cold weather. We light a fire in the cool air, and a black cockatoo passing over is always a special moment. Echoes of voices across the I see my reflection, I see my mistakes. We gather together with our young cousins and family. Uncle Adam cooks on an open fire. We watch the birds and the light change on the mountains above us. The river of heaven helps light the way.
Thanks for joining us at our winter routine. We appreciate every comment and all the kind words. We are very inspired by this little community growing. And many thanks to our patrons, who help us to continue making these videos and caring for all of the animals on the land. Your help means the world to us.